Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel and another question that came today about the security of our Wi-Fi when we connect to a router in our homes or our business. How secure is our Wi-Fi? So the question came in the form of a friend told me that uh, Wi-Fi is not secure. Anybody can hack into a Wi-Fi connection even if you have a password and the answer to this is yes and no the yes is if you use old devices that don't have updates so over time there were flaws that were discovered and pretty much all the way that Wi-Fi connectivity happens the first one was WEP which was really an and is still today a very bad way of using security. It's easy to get into WEP accounts. I've actually, as a uh, tech guy, encountered many, many people that had their Wi-Fi, their internet, kind of stolen by people that connected to their routers because they could connect to the WEP encryption, which is really not secure. And then we came with WPA, WPA2, uh, which is wireless wireless protected access and today we have WPA3 and WPA is a much more secure version of you know connecting to the um, web the best is if you can use WPA2 or even if you have you know modern devices WPA3 why because each new Wi-Fi protocol for security is a lot more secure than the previous ones S but the thing is is like WPA and WPA2 are not necessarily um, hackable it depends on one very important thing we always talk about how updates are important well routers and uh, wireless devices have updates and part of those updates is to fix flaws and the security protocols so if you have a older device and you have WPA2 for example which is probably what most people have WPA2 has flaws that have been discovered but fixed in updates which means if you have an updated device with the latest firmware your router your computer WPA2 is very secure and nobody will go and hack into it until maybe someday somebody finds another flaw but until that happens uh, it's safe and WPA3 is even safer but it's all a question of keeping your devices up to date the other thing about security here and this is where it gets a little more um, you know for for the regular standard home user it's maybe not as bad of a problem is that most of the devices that hackers want to go into will be either businesses or anything that is a public wireless access anything that is Wi-Fi public Wi-Fi that's where they want to stand because that's where you get the most chances of having something that you know can uh, hack you can hack into and make money with where home users you'd have to you know go to the streets and then try to hack into every Wi-Fi of everybody in every house or apartment and it's such a long task and a difficult task and the majority of what you'll find there is not important that hackers don't lose their time with that they will really focus on where the money is which is a, a big business where you can infiltrate the network through a Wi-Fi that's not up to date or a, uh, like I said, a uh, public Wi-Fi where tons of people at the same time connect to the same router and then you can look at the activity. But in general, for the home user, it's not much of a problem. Just don't use WEP. Make sure you use at least WPA2 and WPA3 even better if you have modern devices. And the other thing is uh, make sure that your devices are up to date uh, the older your router, the better the chances the Wi-Fi could be flawed. And um, once again, you know, 
you should change your rudder uh, technically every three, three, four years maximum if you want to stay really, really safe. But once again, remember my rule that you know, for home users, it's not that bad of a problem for the most part. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.